I'm Suzanne Mollison. I'm the Safeguarding Service Officer with WCVA. The Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act is the first time that Wales has had completely separate social care legislation compared to England. The third sector in Wales will be greatly affected by the Act because there is a great new demand for co-production, which will be working together on a multi-agency basis, for citizen-led organisations, which is, an, we know, a big area of work for the third sector. Part 7 of the Act is all about safeguarding. There will be a new duty to report that is placed upon the relevant partners of local authorities to be informed when there are concerns about the risk of harm or neglect to a child or an adult. For the first time, the safeguarding of adults will be on a statutory footing just as it is for children. The first place that you can get more information about the Act is on the Hub. This is supported by Care Council for Wales right here and you can find out lots of information. You can also find an awareness raising pack which you can use in your organisations, all of which is online for you. There are also new modules of training that are coming out to give further information for people whose roles will mean that they need to be complicit with the Act from April of next year. Let's take a look at what we can find on the Hub. So let's find out more. The Act. Here you can find out all about the legal framework and why the Act has come into being. Here there is a prospectus of all the learning material that's available on the Hub, all different levels and the introduction and awareness pack. Here are the news pages. Watch what's coming up next. Maybe it'll be this video. And most importantly, contact the Care Council for Wales for further information. Thank you. The third sector can still contribute to materials for everybody by sending anything they already have, existing case studies or stories about how people use the principles of, say, co-production, multi-agency working that meet the needs of our people or children or carers and they can send that information to the Care Council for Wales where it will be made freely available on their website through the Hub. It's a perfect time to do that before we roll towards implementation of April of 2016.